Hi, everybody. Many blessings. Welcome to some more work for you to do. Um, as our world continues to shift and we're seeing so much division, a lot of what we're seeing is actually based in fear, which is definitely propagated by the elite and by the governments around the world. And a lovely exercise that I have learned from this wonderful book called Sekhmet Transformation in the Belly of the Goddess by Nikki Scully it is a fear meditation with Sekhmet. Now, if you don't know who Sekhmet is, she is the Egyptian lion goddess of both war and healing. And Sekhmet is one of my personal guides. She's been working with me uh, since 2019, the summer of 2019, right around Lionsgate. And Sekhmet belongs to a race of beings known as the lion beings, the galactic lion beings. Um, and you say that they're from the Lyran system. And the lion beings are very responsible for um, not only some of our DNA and the way that we think and are, they've also helped to create much of the ancient Egypt, further than ancient Egypt, the Atlantean uh, Egypt, which is about 10,000 years ago, nine to 10,000 years ago. So my point in sharing these um, meditations with you is to give you tools so that when you start getting really fear mongered from your family, from your friends, your coworkers, society, propaganda, you know, the, um, the mainstream media, that you have something you can come back to. So I can't take credit for this meditation. It is Nikki Scully's, but it's one that I've shared with many of my students and I really, really like it. So let's get you comfortable. Now, as always, my suggestion is if you can to listen to this while in the bathtub, um, because I find water, sitting in water while you're meditating is one of the best ways to receive really clear information while at the same time allowing you to shed, okay? Uh, to shed, to shift. Um, water just helps us have that flow. So that's my suggestion. You don't have to do that. Uh, if you're not gonna do that, then you want your spine to be straight. Preferably you should sit up, um, laying down. You have the danger of falling asleep, of course. Uh, and then make sure, for sure, for sure, you have a journal and a pen handy and a glass of water. Okay, so I think, I think the meditation is around 20 minutes, but maybe it's a little bit shorter, a little bit longer, we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna be adding my own healing energy and powers to it. And as we begin to settle in, I will soon be calling on segment. So in Nikki Scully's work, we always start with the heart breath and I do love the heart breath. So let's just, number one, take a deep breath in and a releasing breath out. And just recognize for these next few moments together, that's just you and I, you and segment, you and creator, you and Gaia. Everything else is just going to fall away. No matter where you've been today, no matter what's happened in your week or your month, in this moment, it's about you grounding and releasing your fears. So putting your hands on your heart, be aware of your own incredible energy and vibration. The body that surrounds your heart, your heart flame, your Holy Spirit, is just a vehicle to help with the mission. But the body isn't the ultimate goal because within is this incredible, beautiful white golden light. That is your essence. That is who you are, who you've been for millions or billions of years. And in particular, you've chosen this earth lifetime to accomplish great things, to clear karma, to help usher in a new golden age for our planet. And for that, I am deeply grateful. So while you connect to your heart essence, be aware that you are an infinite being with infinite wisdom stored within. And all the answers you need 
lie within your connection to the Creator, to the angels, to your guides, and most of all, to your higher self. Take a deep breath in and release. And another breath in and release. Now I want you to imagine yourself in Egypt, whether it's present day Egypt, ancient Egypt, Atlantean Egypt, currently you're barefoot. Your sand, <laughs> the sand is not burning right now. You're barefoot and you're just connecting to Gaia. And perhaps in front of you is the great Sphinx, why not? Let's call her in. But as you wiggle your toes on the terra, you begin to notice how soft and solid Mama Earth is underneath you. We're going to bring a breath in and we're going to pull up the nutrients, the minerals, the love the light, the support, and the guide, guidance from Mother Earth. Ready? Deep breath in. Past the ankles, the knees, the hips. Keep pulling in. Past the belly button and the ribs, all the way into your heart center. Now hold your breath. Hold. And when you're ready, release that breath to your heart and your whole body. Let's do that again. Pulling everything that you love about Mother Earth through the soles of your feet. Breathe in. Bring it up, 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 all the way into your heart, holding it, allowing the energies of Earth to mix within your own heart flame. When you're ready, breathe out, and especially to the back of your neck, in between your shoulder blades and your middle back and lower back. Now, see yourself reaching up your arms to the sky, to Father Sky. And this time when we breathe, we're going to be pulling in Creator's love unconditionally, light, guidance, wisdom. We're going to connect with the energies of our galactic brothers and sisters. And we're going to tune in to our angels and ascended masters. Ready, deep breath in, allowing to funnel through the stellar gateway, the skull star, the causal, the crown, the third eye, the throat, right into the heart chakra, holding, holding, allowing the energies to mix, to build. When you're ready, release back into your body. Again, like that. Deep breath in, collecting the energy from the universe, bringing it down. Holding in your heart. Release out. Now remembering that we are a child of God, which is of light and love, and a child of earth, which is our human aspect. We want to be the balance between both. So you're gonna pull in both a breath from above and a breath from below and bring it into your heart center. Ready? Breathing in. Holding. Holding. Mix, mingle, dance, fly, love, release. Now this time, we're gonna add a prayer prayer that our world awakens, that we all find our way to freedom, joy, happiness, good health, and prosperity. And we're going to pull up and down from the energies of earth and sky. And we're going to bring that into our heart. And when we release our breath this time, we release it as a wish full of love and compassion and kindness 
and truth. Breathing in. Hold. 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 Release. Now, just notice how you feel. That's just from the heart breath. I now call upon Goddess Sekhmet, Goddess of War and Healing, to help us banish our fears, to show us our strength, to remind us to have courage and faith upon our path, and to know that fears are really just within our own psyche. So keep yourself comfortable. Here we go. As we've poured love through our heart fling, we begin to experience clarity, alertness, enter every cell and molecule of our being. Every time you exhale, the radiance of your heart flame grows. And as you look outside of your heart, you understand there's a circle of light that surrounds it very much like a halo. But now we must look beyond that. We must look into the place of darkness that also surrounds us all. And as we put our attention beyond the comforting glow of light into the darkness, you will see the eyes of Sekhmet gleaming. Her eyes are a deep sapphire blue. On your next exhale, send your heart breath to Sekhmet. Ask her to join you and help you deal with the fears that have inhabited your being. As you connect with Sekhmet, she stands before you in her goddess form, a woman's body with a lioness's head surmounted with a Uraeus crown holding the sun disk. If this is the first time you are meeting Segment, allow yourself to connect with her eye to eye, heart to heart. She may place a hand or paw upon your chest Allow yourself to feel her sakem, her powers moving into your heart, through your circulatory system, into every cell and molecule of your body, waking up the ancient memory that resides in your DNA, reminding every part of you that this golden goddess truly lives within you. Notice how you experience being filled with her courage and power. Sekhmet has come to you to help you work through your fears. As you continue to feel her power coursing through your being, she morphs into her beautiful lioness form nudging you to become a lion or lioness with her. She's going to take you on a journey into the savanna. Feel your transformation into the lion being. You can feel as your breath, your body, and your muscles change. As your whiskers grow, you begin to sense how they communicate information to you. Stretch into the fullness of your lioness being and follow segment, experiencing the grace and strength with which the two of you 
are running across the savanna. Although you are following segment, you know that she knows exactly where she is going. Notice your senses as they become more acute with each stride of your graceful lioness and lion body. In the distance, you begin to perceive the first fear that is coming to meet you. Sekhmet shows you how to stop and crouch in the grass to watch. Once you are still and hidden, observe this fear closely. Listen very carefully. Sniff the air. You can smell it. You may even be able to taste it on your tongue. Ask yourself, is this a fear that is serving your higher self? Does it in fact keep you safe? Notice where you feel it in your body and how your body reacts to it. Can you feel it? If this fear is something that still serves you, then honor it. If it has served you in the past to keep you safe, honor it and thank it. If it is a fear that you wish to transform, segment may nudge you to stand and look directly at this fear. You hear a low grumbling, a rumbling sound, possibly before you realize that it is coming from you. Let the sound build as you face this fear. Mm. Mm. When you're ready, let loose with a great roar. Notice how the fear reacts. Do not be shy. Sekhmet is right there with you. The roar seems to have a life of its own. And it goes on and on, banishing the fear from your being. It is not necessary to know the story behind the fear. Just isolating it will help you let go of it. Take a deep breath in. Release. Notice how you feel. That you let that fear go. Let's continue our hunt. Looking around, crouching, alert. As you seek out each fear, remember to honor and give gratitude. And then we roar and let go of what no longer serves us. So you look, where's the next fear coming from? What is it? How long have you had this fear? Is it rational? Does it make sense? Does it serve you? Is it manipulating you into making poor choices? Into not trusting yourself or God? Is it protecting you? Is it time to release? sniffing the air, facing it head on. Feel that rumbling start again from the depths of your tummy, reverberating through your chest, through your ribs, through your heart. Ex 
exploding out of your throat, you let out the roar. And let the fear scatter away. Remembering to confirm that you are ready to let go of that which no longer serves you, including these fears. Sometimes you're going to know the, the direct cause of the fear, and sometimes it's going to be obscure. It doesn't matter. It only matters that we have the intention to release it. Let's go hunting one more time. Looking around, looking behind you, perhaps even looking within you. What is your next fear? Is it the fear that you're not enough? That you're not lovable? That you can't get things done? That you'll always be in the cycle that you're in? Whatever it is, remember your power. You are a lioness or a lion. You are strong, courageous, wise. And you are ready. As you see it, once again, face it eye to eye. Begin to call up that inner power and fire within you, rumbling, rumbling. When it can't be contained any longer, when you are absolutely ready, roar it with your biggest breath, with your loudest sound. Your suffering is there to help you. And what happens to the fear? It dissolves. Was it even ever real? Or was it something you built up within you? Now you can pause if there's more fears to deal with. But for now, we're just going to stick to those three. When there are no more fears showing up, you and Sekhmet walk side by side, enjoying the sun in the aftermath of the hunt. She has shown you how to hunt and how to face your fears. She is always available to you in the future if you need to come back to this place. Remember. As you take one last stretch in your lioness form, relishing the power and strength that is the natural state of a healthy lion or lioness. Feel yourself come back into human form. A segment returns to her goddess form. And while you slowly walk back to where we started in front of the Sphinx, you take a bow and you thank her for all she has shown and given you. If she has any further messages or gifts, allow those to be exchanged now. Be sure to express your gratitude to Sekhmet for this teaching, for the messages, And remember, you can repeat this journey as often as needed. Placing your hands on your heart, thank your higher self, your physical self, for having the courage to face your fears and offer prayers for others whom you know and all around the world 
in general so that people can live free of fear. When all of this feels complete, you're going to take a deep earth breath, pulling up the earth energy to help you ground into your physical body. Wiggle your toes and fingers and slowly open your eyes. This is the perfect time to drink a little bit from your water and to begin to journal all that you picked up and seen. It's my pleasure to help guide you through this journey today. Again, gratitude to Nikki Scully for creating it. And the book that I mentioned, Sekhmet, Transformation in the Belly of the Goddess, is one I really recommend because it's going to help you come through not just your fears, but so much more. It's a, it's a book that can't be rushed. Um, it's a process of transformation. So I'm sending you my love. My name is Priscilla Campos, also known as Priscilla Lightworker and the Atlantean Priestess. I am a High Priestess and Queen of Atlantis, and it is my duty, my job, my honor, and my privilege to help you remember who you are, which is an incredible and powerful being of light. Many blessings. Sending you my love. We'll connect again soon.